Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a test drive on Tata Nexon. This is the top variant and it's a manual, not automatic. Right off the bat you can see that this cabin looks really premium, but it's missing leather seats. The seats of Tata Nexon, even in the top variant, are just fabric. After looking at Kyger and looking at Tata Nexon, Tata Nexon looks like a very premium car from the inside. The plastic, most of it is a shiny, glossy piano finish and it looks quite good. Here I was showing um, the bump. The bump in the middle is a lot and very uncomfortable for the third person. You can see the glossy finish of the plastic is mo mostly everywhere. This armrest for the driver is soft with cushions which is pretty nice touch. In this variant, I don't. The one we are sitting in is does not have a sunroof. This is, I don't think, the top variant. But the one we will be having a test drive on would be the top variant. The headroom was also pretty good. The ACs, the ACs had a good speed and it could you could adjust it quite well. The legroom was decent on both sides, but in the middle, like I said, it had a bump. The side door. Profile also looked really good. The front profile also looked really good. There is a slide shutter uh, near the armrest, which is a good storage space for little knickknacks. Here he was showing us the sunroof. The sunroof opened up pretty nicely and also closed pretty good. But um, it also had another feature where it would just tilt open so the air would go in, but like not too much dust would come in. Where there was the buttons uh, for the sunroof, there was also a small mic for the uh, driver to talk when he's driving. And there's a cabin light at the front, but the IRVM, it's not automatic, even on the top variant. Yes. Anyways, the back seats had an armrest, which was also fabric wrapped, not leather wrapped, just fabric. And there was also two adjustable headrests at the back and at the front. There's cruise control in this as well as the stereo and the radio and music systems controls as well. The horn though is not in the middle like usual. It's actually a little buttons right next to the cruise control or the audio controls. This a rear view camera had adaptive guidelines where it would show us where uh, if you're turning our wheel. The display was pretty small, like judging from Sonnet, Asta, or optional Hyundai i20, um, Kyger and stuff. But still, it was a good enough display. The ACs had turn dials and there was also some buttons at the bottom. Overall, the interior of the cabin was pretty premium and the exterior also looks very, um, very attractive. The touchscreen response in this car was real good. It was decent enough to work and it was working fine. The music system was also really good. You should probably judge that by yourself by listening to the music it's playing.
Thank you for watching. 